Э, ну, я так понимаю, что вы вполне готовы и можете участвовать в серьезной политической борьбе, например, на президентских выборах. Есть ли такая задача у организации мормонов, наряду с Республиканской и Демократической партией, вступить в предвыборную борьбу? participate in politics as a church. For example, uh, in the United States of America, where there is freedom of election, uh, the church never sponsors a candidate and never advocates a preference for one person over another. This principle of separation of church from politics also allows us to bring the blessings of the church to countries that operate entirely differently from an American democracy. For example, for years we've been in German Democratic Republic. Uh, we've, our people there have been good citizens of the country. And more recently, we've uh, established the church in Czechoslovakia, and Poland, Hungary, Yugoslavia, Greece, and, um, Soviet Union. And, and in the Soviet Union, of course. So we believe that uh, the blessings of the church can bring good things into the lives of its members while they can still be good citizens of their country in which they live and belong to whatever political uh, party they wish to uh, belong to, or if they want to be communists or socialists, or um, it really doesn't matter because the principles of the gospel of Jesus Christ transcend political ideology. No, uh, так да. Эта идеология сходна с идеологией все-таки коммунистической. Извините, что я так часто произношу это слово. Э -э идеологи коммунистического движения считают, что именно коммунизм – будущее всего мира, потому что коммунистические морали, коммунистические идеалы, они сходны с христианскими моралями, с христианской моралью, с христианскими идеалами. Тогда, значит, э -э цель вашей организации – это построение коммунизма во всей стране, во всем мире. Мне важно, чтобы вопрос был передан. Family units that are given from our Heavenly Father. So we teach people the sanctity, the importance of the family unit mother, father, children, grandparents, great grandparents. We spend much time researching our ancestors and in looking up the genealogical records. That's very important to us. Because of our belief in the sanctity of the body that each one of us has, we treat it very well. We try to get good exercise and good diet. We don't use tobacco. We don't use alcohol. We have that great respect. Now, we believe that the most important thing that we can do with the strength and the talents that we have is to help other people, to serve other people, to make a great society where people can be happy and be responsible for their own individual choices so that if you want to be a journalist, you can be the very best one. If I want to be a heart surgeon, I can be the very best one. We believe that's a religious principle with us to gain education, because the glory of God is intelligence. Yes. Uh, у вас висит карта в, при, в приемной. 
карта висит в приемной. Карта Европы. И там виден север нашей страны. Я часто бывал там. Есть там такой город Салихард. Там до сих пор существуют сталинские лагеря. И на одном лагере было крупно написано «Железной рукой загоним человечество к счастью». Yes. Uh, насколько я понимаю, мормоны достаточно серьезно ограничивают себя в каких-то ну, обыкновенных житейских бытовых делах. Не пьют, не курят. То есть есть какой-то круг ограничений. Не кажется ли вам, что в масштабах всей организации мормонов вот этот круг ограничений может привести рано или поздно к тому, что вы будете считать, что ваш образ жизни единственно правильный и железной рукой надо всех загнать в мормоны? Not smoke, only smoke, only not smoke, only not drink. Not. Другие ограничения, вообще в принципе ограничения, любые, ограничения свободы. I think your view that the strength of truth is what gives freedom is a correct view. If we understand that God exists and that he teaches his children what good things are in store for him or for her. That if they will obey those commandments, they will find great joy and happiness. This is what we bring to the members of the church wherever we go, is we bring them the feelings of freedom, of truth, of joy and happiness, not only for this life, but for the life that will come after we leave this world. Ну и последнее. Какое вы видите будущее? Каким вы видите будущее вашей организации? Thank you. The church will continue to grow. It will be accepted in additional countries as they find out what we can do to strengthen their people and strengthen their families, give them a higher standard of living, uh, give them a feeling of hope and optimism and joy in life. It's, uh, it's been interesting to watch the gr growth of the church over the last 100 years. And if We've gone from a population of um, just a few hundred thousand a hundred years ago to seven and a half million now. If you took that same curve out another hundred years, then the membership in the church would be um, somewhere between 250 and 500 million people. So the church will continue to grow. Спасибо за интервью. Будем надеяться, что все ваши планы они выполнятся. Я прошу прощения за наш общий плохой английский, потому что наши уважаемые друзья – это не профессиональные переводчики, они такие же, как мы, так сказать, вот коллеги в какой-то степени. Обещаю вам, что в следующий раз, когда мы к вам приедем, мы приедем с профессиональным переводчиком, и тогда наш разговор, наверное, получится более принципиальным по каким-то позициям и интересным. Во всяком случае, огромное спасибо за это интервью. И последняя просьба. Вашей власти достаточно ли для того, чтобы все-таки разрешить нам сегодня снимать крещение? for the reception that we've received by the governmental leaders in the Soviet Union. 
we have been well received by His Excellency uh, Ambassador Yuri Dabinin when he was the Soviet Ambassador to the United States of America and now more recently by His Excellency Alexander Besmirtnik. We're very grateful to him and for the people in, the, in Moscow with whom we've met, Konstantin Kharchov and more recently um, Mr. Yuri Kristorodnov. Mm -hmm. the Minister of Religious Affairs, yeah. they've all been, they and their associates have been very, very cordial to us, and we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. The members of the Church who live in the Soviet Union are some of our very most uh, devout members. Even though we don't have a great number of them, they're very special. In Moskva, in Kiev, Leningrad, Tallinn, Viborg, um, and other cities, even though our numbers are few, the faith of those people is strong and wonderful, and we feel a great feeling of respect for those members of the Church in the Soviet Union. It's a matter of, uh, of um, respect. There are certain things... I've never even taken a picture of the baptism of my own children. Mrs. Nelson and I have ten children, mm -hmm. and and when right. and when uh, those children have been baptized, I've taken pictures of the family before and after, but never of the baptism because it's a sacred experience for us. We do not. Это очень плохо. Helen, do you think you could find? those uh, colored photographs that we have of uh, baptismal service. Естественно, что всю процедуру мы бы не снимали. Но нам нужны какие-то принципиальные моменты. Это очень коротко. Ни в коем случае не нарушая святости всего происходящего. Maybe it's possible. They were very wise. Я уже снимал это. Я снимал крещение баптистов у нас на Западную Украину. Okay. Это было по центральному телевидению, это все же. Знают, что это такое. I think it's important for you to show your people that our mode of baptism is by immersion under the water. That represents the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we do baptize by immersion and not by sprinkling. He needs that translated. <laughs> Делать. They took that picture without permission <laughs> and sent me a copy. <laughs> but it, it's, uh, it's all right because uh, it's not showing the actual baptism. Well, what do you think? Can... You mean he wants to splice that, that section in? That Let's go ahead. Okay. Sure. Okay. I think there's no problem with they line them up on me. I think just, just standing in the water. Just standing in the water. No, I'm not oh, yes. yeah, no. about this man. Why don't you? Boyd uh, Christensen would like to tell you about the priesthood meeting that Elder Nelson talked about the priesthood, and we took him to the 20. A book about the Mormon tabernacle. Oh, that's nice. And then the construction of the building. My wife is uh, one of the members of the image. And then here's a, a little recording so you can listen to their music. Thank you. Thank you. And the Christian. Christian, yeah. yes. <laughs> Little picture, please. Okay, perfect. All right. One, 
two, three, smile. Come again. Place your time. Is that okay? That he had spoken to Gordon B. Hinckley. He said, to who? Gordon B. Hinckley said, we're not going to fail for my baptism. Because I guess I couldn't get a hold of him. By the oval window, so it is a very sturdy building. Okay, if you follow me, we'll be going right in the tabernacle.
Итак, вот 17 лет прошло с твоего рождения, и ты пришел к тому дню, когда ты будешь окрещен. Ты станешь мормоном. Скажи, пожалуйста, изменится ли, как ты считаешь, что-нибудь в твоей душе после сегодняшнего дня или нет? Me saying that I want to be with God, and this is what I want to do because this was my choice. Не считаешь ли ты, что вот пройдя через этот обряд, ты все-таки лишишь себя каких-то чисто земных благ, которыми так богата ваша страна и которым пользуются с удовольствием твои сверстники? что твоя молодость будет немножко ограничена, ограничена в каких-то действиях, поступках. Как ты сам определяешь, что отличает мормонов от всех остальных людей? I couldn't really say except that to me, I mean, just what I feel, the Mormon church is the only true church and the others are saying that they're the true church. I don't believe so. Ты уже такой человек или только хочешь стать таким? Are you a real, what do you think? Are you a real Mormon today or do you only want to, to stay as a real Mormon? I, yeah, I'm a Mormon. I am. It's not a matter of wanting to be and not really being a Mormon. It's you are, you're not. It's, I am. We'd like to welcome the the, uh, the camera crew here that from the Soviet Union, and they'll be filming some of the baptism today and making a little program out of presenting to this to about 150 to 200 million Russians.
Jason has a lot of faith in um, some of the things that we shared with him. A couple of the people in the ward, his knowledge of the gospel and especially his testimony that he has just in talking to him, you can feel a special spirit about him. And Jason, when you get baptized today, there's a couple of important things. Um, you'll go down in, into the water and, and your father will baptize and you'll go under his resurrection as you come out of the water. And it represents the promise that you make to follow Jesus Christ. And I know that you understand the promise, I want to share a scripture out of the book of Mormon before Christ lived. He knew what would happen to Jesus Christ, and he knew about his life, and, and that Jesus Christ himself would be baptized. And he explained about, about how all of us on this earth would need to be baptized to enter into God's kingdom again, and how baptism... Dale Lewis to be a witness, and Elder Richardson, a mission in the Utah Salt Lake mission to be a witness also. So hopefully we'll do that right now. While we're waiting for Jason to hide to lead us. And if speak to you on baptism by the Holy Ghost and he'll speak to you to sit to stand in the confirmation and do so and the confirmation will be done by a sick free prayer and his uh, father. Christ set the example for all of us to be baptized. A later verse says, wherefore after he was baptized with water, the Holy Ghost descended upon him in the form of a dove. And so baptism, Jason, is just the beginning. Now that you've been baptized and buried and started your new life with Christ, all your sins are washed away. But we'll continue to make mistakes, won't we? And so God has given us, through His Son, Jesus Christ, the gift of the Holy Ghost to help us as we continue to make those mistakes in our life. The Holy Ghost will be there like conscience plus. And you're like, eh, but it looks good. The Holy Ghost is going to be that little thing. And learn the right things. Jesus Christ said, as He was leaving, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, through the Holy Ghost. So Jason, something really needs about to happen. As these men lay their hands on your head, much like a picture in the very end of the Book of Mormon, how Jesus laid his hands on his apostles' head, and then through the priesthood of God, you'll get this gift of the Holy Ghost, which will help lead and guide and teach you for the rest of your life. It's tough out there sometimes, isn't it, Jason? It's tough for all of us. But with the power of the Holy Ghost, with the influence of family and friends, we can always hang on and choose the right. The Holy Ghost has made a difference in my life and help me so I could come be a missionary and make some changes in my life that have made me very happy and the same thing for you. So I leave these thoughts with you. Higher and higher. 
And the little boy turned to his grandfather and said, Grandpa, can't you feel? The kite wants to go higher. Can we, can we cut the string? And the grandfather says, no, you can't cut the string. Because the kite kite, it came down. And oftentimes we think of commandments much like that string as that it restricts us. I'll let you know that I know the church is true. I know the Book of Mormon is true and that Joseph Smith is a prophet. And I say those things in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh,